Pick up your phone and call the professionals. Go Ghostbusters! Did you ever wonder why phone numbers in TV shows and movies always start with the numbers 555? 555 1125. It's 555-3455. 555-2401. Five, 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 the short answer is that most 555 five, five numbers are not working numbers. So real people won't be harassed if diehard fans try to call them. 555 five, five was an exchange combination that was not used very often in the American telephone system. You may get a wrong number or no number at all. An FCC contractor called the NANPA, or North American Numbering Plan Administration, is tasked with assigning numbers for use. 5551212 is still used for directory assistance, and 5554334 is reserved for assigned national use. But a set of 100 555 numbers have been officially designated for use in Hollywood. 5550100 through 5550199. Corey Gillis, 5550176. Back in the early 90s, 555 numbers outside that range could be reserved for information service providers. But this program was shut down by the NANPA in 2015. While those other numbers might one day be put back in circulation, the 100 reserved for TV and movies will not, so they will always be safe for use. So, how specifically did 555 become the famous number that it is today? Decades ago, phone numbers used to look a lot different. They consisted of a word and a five-digit numerical code. The word was a telephone exchange name, and the number was assigned to a specific phone in that area. Up until 1919, all telephone calls were manual. You had to start by speaking to an operator. This is WY52240. References to this system can be seen in the names of movies, like Butterfield 8. And songs like the Glenn Miller Orchestra's Pennsylvania 65000, which calls Hotel Pennsylvania in New York. And these were based on names that could be easily understood verbally. Eventually, phone companies switched to a system where customers had to dial themselves. We are changing your telephone service over to dial. Take up your receiver and always listen for the dial tone. Phone numbers were reached using numbers corresponding to the first two letters of the exchange name. So if you wanted to call Pennsylvania 65000, you would dial 736000. Since 7 corresponds with PQRS on the keypad, and 3 corresponds to DEF. For Butterfield, you would start with 28. So with this in mind, let's take another look at 555. Now, some combinations for the first two letters of a word work better than others. One of the combinations that were very difficult to correlate to useful exchange names was 5-5. Five, five. On the keypad, 5 has the letters J-K-L. Letters which, when placed next to each other, don't make many words or exchange names. So there were not many real phone numbers starting with 5-5. Five, five. Klondike, which has become well known, is about the only one. Klondike 42106, Los Angeles, please. Then call Klondike 53226. These numbers were often shortened to just the first two letters plus the five-digit code. Since Klondike 5 was not frequently assigned, it found other uses. Bell Systems noted in an official guide that the 55X exchange was reserved for radio telephone. The portable transmitting and receiving radio unit that makes it possible to combine radio and wire telephony for communication purposes. This was actually a very small group of numbers used in early mobile phones. Klondike 5 was also a sample number used in old phone company advertisements, and it began to be used in old movies and TV shows. Eventually, area codes were introduced, allowing for more available phone numbers, and the exchange names were abolished. But the 555 trope is still used today in Hollywood. What's the phone number of the store? 555-2310. So, if you're looking for a Ghostbuster, who are you going to call? No one.